So in the past, uh, I tried installing the Ubuntu on Hyper-V and it was a lot of uh, trial and error. It actually took me a day and a half to uh, go through everything, fix it and got it up and running. Um, but this time we're gonna try it from uh, since everything is enabled, all the uh, settings in the uh, BIOS and in Windows features. So we can just see if we can create um, an installation, um, a fresh installation. The old one gave a lot of uh, errors. It's still installed, but there was audio was not working. So we're gonna try to see if we can fix it without any troubleshooting, just installing a brand new one. I uh, need to delete this one. And I hope I can. Delete, yeah. Just go. So we're gonna click on create new. Virtual machine. So before we do that, uh, we can try the... Um, we are assuming that you have turned on the um, visualization support in your BIOS um, and you have done the feature uh, the hypervisor and hyper-v in Windows feature and after assuming that we can just create a new virtual machine click next um, To 18 since it's the third time we're doing it 18b uh, we're gonna try it last time we did the generation one we're gonna now play with the generation two uh, we're gonna give it 2048 uh, 2 gigabit memory um, we're gonna say default switch ah oh. and I wanted to do something here uh, oh, it will. Um, new properties, hyper resetting, virtual sand. Virtual switch, yes. External, internal, private, create virtual switch. Default switch is on. Can we create a virtual switch? We can cancel it and just go with this one for the time being. Default switch. Next, we didn't do. Um, you're gonna say 18B. So is this and this is the virtual hard drive we're gonna give it the installation media that should be in downloads to Ubuntu I'm gonna click finish <coughs> and now we can click and connect or start let's do the start thing it started and we can click and connect to connect to it hyper restart pxe over IPv4 that was not there last time um, that was definitely not there I see start PXE over IPv4 do I need to press anything status running um, I hope not I mean Let's see if mm, task manager shows anything. <coughs> Performance. CPU is definitely up and running. Uh, it's, um, I think memory is, there you go. SSID damage are not allowed. Network adapter. Um, the bootloader did not, sh nope. Configuring current. Restart now. Uh, uh, 
What happened? Fire solar. Oh, because we are using the UEFE, maybe that's the case. Uh, we have to go back and change it. So that was another trial and error ended. <laughs> Okay, so this one is not supported. Um, so let's shut it down and create a new one. Shut down. We're gonna see if the CPU and memory drops. The CPU is, I would say, about the same. It was 18%. Memory is definitely still there. Um, turn off. Turn off. There you go. Now memory should drop down, and it did. Boom. And the CPU is right there. 10% memory. Yep, memory dropped down. CPU was still the same. <coughs> well so that's how you don't want it to be running um, uh, Ubuntu on UEFI boot uh, let's go and finish this one um, and create from um, for the generation one and see if that works we can delete this one here yep delete 